two, three, fuck it. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gary. And today I'm gonna to guys a video based on organizing your client work, you know, making a to-do list. So this is gonna be kind of another video add-on to the video I made two days ago, basically explaining how to get your time management correctly done. And I went over this kind of cool feature that I use personally, and that's gonna be using spreadsheets. We're gonna be going over a Google spreadsheet, making your own spreadsheet for client work. I'm gonna show you an example of one of my old ones that I, uh, I used, but I stopped using because I made a new one. And I'm gonna apologize now guys if I sound a little congested. I've been really sick for the past you know, few days, so my throat cleared up, but uh, just the nasal and the allergies and everything like that just keeps getting worse and worse. So I'm trying my best, but uh, let's get right into the video. So if you guys do not already have a Google, like a Google account, like a Gmail account, I would definitely go and make one. You know, Gmail is one of the best you know, email websites. I'm pretty sure all of you have one if you guys have a YouTube channel. But basically, we're going to be going over Google Sheets. So if you type in google.com slash sheets slash about, it'll pop up. If not, you guys can click the link in the description below. That works all awfully fine. You guys can scroll down and basically go over, you know, templates that they have. You can download the app to your phone, to your iPad. You know, it's just a really cool app overall because you can work on your phone, your, you know, your iPad, your laptop. And it's very universal. It's very easy to use on even all of them. You know, if I get a client during the day while I'm in school, I can add it to my spreadsheet as fast as possible and you know I can get get to work basically so in all I'm gonna show you guys my example of what I did for my client work and you guys can see my prices if you want to be nosy about it and all but overall this is basically the layout that I'm gonna be using is uh, you know the date that the client you know paid if they wanted to get done the client name you know order price contact paid complete it and everything like that and uh, this is my old one you know I made a whole new one based on you know I got a lot of clients one day so I decided you know I decided to make a whole new one, but uh, basically, I'm gonna be going over creating your own. So if you guys go to Google Sheets and just click on here, it's gonna bring you to you know a bunch of them. And overall, what I like doing is I don't like starting fresh, but I like starting from one of these templates. So if I click this open, you guys are gonna have a, a bunch of stuff pop up. So you guys can scroll down and stuff, look through them all. But basically, the one that I like using the most is the schedule one or the to-do list and or team roster. And we're gonna be going over the schedule and the to-do list very vaguely and very quickly but basically explaining to you guys how to organize it yourself to make it pretty much fit your responsibilities and stuff so if you guys click on the schedule one it's gonna pop up with this kind of stuff and it's gonna be very straightforward in a sense that you can't really mess things up so the first thing that I'm like doing is actually deleting a column and you know some things are not necessary especially like this a column is not necessary if you guys right click on it, you guys can just clear the column and then you guys can just delete it and delete the other A1 because you don't want the time there. So you're pretty much just left with like a bunch of you know open stuff right here. So what I really like doing is either making this a lot bigger, you know, you guys can take this and make it you know fatter like that. Um, you guys can basically do anything you want. It's very customizable in a sense that uh, it's very forgiving that you can do whatever you want. But basically, what I like doing is just grabbing the text in the top and writing like client and then imprint or client list in parentheses you know, to do, right? And then, you know, everything's gonna change and all that kind of stuff, you know, these things are gonna have errors. Everything like that will change. You guys are gonna have to clear all of these notes, all of these columns and stuff like that. It's basically a big, huge junk fest. But uh, really quickly, I'm gonna sort of change this to a date or something like that to kind of fix up that whole entire it being dumb. But overall, you guys are gonna change one thing, everything else is gonna change with it. Um, that happens because everything is kind of synced together in the templates. And then you guys can change this like full client list of their design. You can change it to whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. This top part is really the most useless thing possible. But uh, we're gonna work from left to right, of course. And of course, I like deleting the top bar of everything. I think that uh, having stuff up here is probably the the most disturbing in the sense of it's not very clean you know, I'd rather prefer have a uh, I'd rather have you know something else there not just like a big empty block or have like a value or something like that so I tend to you know just leave them the same I tend to just leave them as clean as possible and I start like cleaning up the way everything looks you know I sometimes make this bigger I'll color them all green or something like that and uh, really quickly, I'm not going to go over you know everything on how Google Sheets works. You guys can do that yourself. 
but I always like starting the first one with the word date. So where the Saturday would be, you guys can just triple click right here and just type in date and it'll all change. But I always like leaving this, the date because of how everything can work. So of course for the date, it would be nine slash 14 slash 2016. And the next thing I'd always leave these in the center or in the left hand side, the center usually works best for me. Um, of course, you guys can just triple click this text and we're going to change this to client name. You guys can change this to whatever your name is. I'm going to put bear and then quotation marks Garrett. And really, you want to go on your personal preference on how everything works. And then uh, you can type whatever you want right here. You can put like the order. And then let's say once you have the client name, the order, um, date of completion or DOC you can triple click this you know change whatever this is let's say uh, price um, it's really personal preference honestly like paid or not and then I already put completed but I'll put, I'll put completed again and then we're gonna change this date of completion to what I put mine contact so uh, contact is very important of course for your clients so Let's just say you have this, you know, you enter all this in order. I'm ordering a mascot logo for myself. We're going to throw this in the middle. Um, for contact info, I'm going to put my email. So it would be GarrettMaloneCo at gmail.com. And sometimes it won't always fit inside the box. You guys can either shrink the text or make the box bigger. Um, I typically like shrinking the text just a little bit. Um, making the box bigger kind of screws everything up. Making the price, you guys can change the price to whatever. Typically, logos cost $125 if you're getting them through my website on my pre-made section. Paid, yes or no. It's really straightforward, yes or no. And of course, completed is, of course, completed, yes or no. It's straightforward as well. But uh, once you're doing this, you want to start organizing everything else. So it's really easy to kind of add stuff onto here. You know, there's stuff right here like to do, like maybe you want to change something up on your thing. Of course, I'm just going to highlight all of these, right click and just hit delete rows, you know, 27 through 34, which is what I have highlighted. But you really can add whatever you want. Let's say a client comes to me on the 16th or the 15th, I'm going to have here. And uh, you basically want to keep doing the same thing, throw it in the middle, a client name, let's just say it's Adam, just a random name, first A name that came in my head. Um, he ordered a YouTube banner. And you guys can see that it's very straightforward in a sense of how everything works. I'm not going to go through the whole entire thing. And uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to something like this in the description so you guys can look at it and get a, uh, a glimpse for it yourself and how everything works. But let's say that client listing isn't what you want to do. You want a to-do list. So, of course, there's going to be other options. You guys can make a blank spreadsheet yourself. You guys can go right here to the to-do list. And this is actually really, really nice in a sense that it pretty much completes it for yourself. So right here um you guys can have like lines and stuff like that um basically i don't really like this stuff you guys can use like an x you guys can use a uh, check mark or a c um oh no these change for itself but uh basically you guys get the uh, idea if you leave it blank it typically puts a slash mark through it so whatever letter i'm gonna be putting down inside this to-do list is gonna put a slash mark through it so I'm pretty sure if I take this slash mark away, the text gets cleared. So let's say that we want to make this a little bit bigger and wider. We, of course, can just drag it along. You guys can make it bigger by clicking stuff, you know, dragging the C all the way to the right. And uh, you guys can put completed. You guys can pretty much change it you want. If not, um, Google Sheets has its own coding that helps you complete this. So let's say we have on the 16th, we have to do this. And uh, the first task is going to be change YouTube banner right and then we're gonna have let's say we double click on this the 20th we have to take fish out for a walk now something random you know you guys you guys are gonna get the idea but basically once you guys have all the stuff if you guys want to just pretty much say you're done with changing your YouTube banner put an X right through it and it's gonna pretty much drop this whole thing into a gray and it's gonna put a slash mark through the whole entire thing so you know you're finished with it of course you're done taking out your fish for a walk put an X through it you're done sorting out your items into drop down items through an X through it and uh, basically it's a really simple way to put Google Sheets in into your work I think this is the best thing that Google has came out with next to Google Docs and stuff like that you know Google's are very 
good uh, resource for when you guys are making um, videos, um, using it for school projects, client lists, to-do lists, stuff like this. If this does not work for you, if you're not a very good computer man and you guys don't like using your phones to kind of change things, you guys can always just write it down on a notepad and stuff like that. I also do that. I have a lot of uh, invoices that I do on notepads. I can go over that in another video. But of course, you guys can just change the color of everything and ending up with something like this is very clean and very uh, responsive. So basically that's going to be it for today's video. Um, a lot of people requested this so I hope I went over it very thoroughly and everyone enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and I'm sorry again if I sound very congested and I'm like slurring my words or if I uh, sound like very lispy. Um, my nose is just really really stuffed, you know, my throat is pretty fine right now but uh, it could be better. But uh, overall, this is going to be it for today's video. I'm sorry about not uploading every day like I have been, you know, being sick, you know, starting high school, my senior year, everything's getting a little hectic. But I'm trying to get my schedule built up again and uh, get right back into the groove of things. So of course, guys, make sure you slap that subscribe button, make sure you like this video and share it to your friends. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Email me, hit me up on Twitter, anything like that, and I'll make sure to check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a really nice day, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.